I think I'm gonna do a giveaway for this camera and give it to one of um one of my supporters because I ain't gave y'all nothing yet. That's because I ain't rich. Greetings, you wonderful people. Back with another video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're not new here, my A1 Day Ones. I wish I could give y'all some of these chips. Bussin', okay? My favorite ones is the Ranch Hot, but the store ain't have the ranch, so I got these. I like these too, but right now, as you can see, it's raining, so do not judge me because my hair look like this because what I was not about to do is take my sweet, precious time to do something to my hair just for the rain and be like, you thought you was going to eat today. So it is what it is. Like Mother Nature just gonna do her thing. But right now, I just left the bank. I had to make a deposit so that I can send my mama some money. Um, oh, sorry, I gotta get in front of you. Like it's raining. Don't make me drive too fast. What am I talking about? Mm. Drop Wells Fargo because they didn't believe in me, so I don't believe they should have my money. You gonna let me over? You could drive crazy. It don't matter if it's raining. Come on now, why would you do that? Like, come on now. I don't like driving in the rain because they cannot drive. Now I am headed to go equipment shopping. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the pawn shop and pawn these two cameras because I bought I got two Canon cameras, but I don't like the quality of either one of them. So one of them I bought, I think it was Walmart, brand new, fresh out of the box. But of course, y'all know your girl's cheap, so I just keep them. It's like $300. Come on, my ass. And you can't always be cheap. Certain things you just have to spend money for. And there may be a cheap camera that I can get for $300 that's good, but that just wasn't it. And I've had that since I was living in the transition house. And I moved out of there, what, August of 21? So I had this camera forever. I've randomly taken pictures, but I don't, I don't use it at all. But I want the quality. So I ended up buying another one because I went to the pawn shop and of course I was drawn to that area and I bought another one out of the pawn shop which is a Canon as well. I think I paid $250 I'm like, hey, for that. I got one of them little you know, lenses that you can zoom in and stuff but I don't like that camera either. I think that one is a, um, a Rebel T5. So since I'm going to buy a new camera, I was like, I might as well pawn the ones I got. You know, like what the, what's the point of holding them? Go buy a third one just to have three cameras. So which way I'm going? I gotta get over. So now I'm headed to the pawn shop. If I can get like use the right lane to take exit five hundred dollars beyond to state both, road one fifteen which is north. Me dreaming because that's about road. how much I paid for them brand new. But a girl could dream, okay? If I can get like $500 for them, I'll be good. I ain't taking nothing less than $350. Like, y'all crazy. I'll give them away before I let you give me anything less than $350. And then after that, I'm going to Best Buy. And what I'm not going to do is buy a camera that I'm not in love with because I'm going to just be in the same boat that I am now. So if I don't love the camera, I'm not going to buy it. And I'll just keep camera shopping because my phone works just fine. Like, them people crazy they said I'm going to show y'all right so he looked them up on the computer thingy or whatever. He told me <laughs> for this one, this is a Canon, let me lock my door in case somebody feeling frisky. This is a Canon EOS Rebel T5 with the little, you know, zoomy, my thinger, my jigger, my manga. Um, it has both of the batteries. One of the batteries is in here already. And then here's the other battery and the charger port. And then this is the USB that you plug in here. And of course you have to have a little, you know, block charger. He said for, he would give me 80, no, $60 for this camera. 
sixty dollars, sir. You can't be serious because you're not gonna sell this for sixty dollars. You're gonna probably sell this for the same thing I bought it for. But I think it was one. It was either one ninety nine or two forty nine. That's what he told me he's gonna pay for this one, right? And then he said for this one, he would give me twenty dollars for this camera. Twenty dollars. First of all, this camera costs more than that one. And that one is used. This one came brand new out the box. So you gonna give me less for the one that I paid more for? Like, I told him, I was like, he was like, oh, what happens is we look it up online and wherever, whatever the cheaper price, cheapest price is, you can find it online. Then we, um, that's what we buy it for. Okay, I was like, I understand, you know, you got your policies and stuff that you got to do. I immediately started bagging back up my stuff. I was like, I will give these away before I pawn them for $80. Well, I guess we're keeping those cameras for now because I am not $80. What you thought I was short on rent or something, right? You, you thought I was short on rent? Like, you thought I needed it for gas money? <sighs> Maybe that's all they worth, but I'd rather give them away. Like, Best Buy it is. Got no business at this Best Buy where everything is. I'm talking about everything over here. I think that's where I came to eat at Texas Roadhouse and they was like real mean to me and treating me like a peasant, like I was begging for free food. Yeah, so I won't be back. They basically was like, it was real packed in there, so I felt like, okay, you know, if the service is slow or whatever, I wasn't gonna be upset because, like, if you serving a table of, like, nine, of course their tip is gonna be bigger than you just serving me, so I knew, you know, service was gonna kinda suck, but they was horrible to me. I guess they thought I wasn't gonna tip, or my tip wasn't worth it. This is the cousin. The big cousin, because this is an EOS Rebel T7. This is the big cousin of the camera that I already have. Because I have the T5. But their display is a little non-existent. And then this is like the tripods and the SIM cards. I don't need a tripod and a SIM card. They don't got no Nikon cameras. I mean, I guess because everybody be using their phones that they feel like they don't really need a camera display. Because this is... This is trash. What's down here? Okay, here goes some cameras. All right. What is this one? This is a Canon G6. Oh, I got to flip back. Like you can flip this around. Is this it right here? Yeah, this is $800. Yeah, $749 is $800. That's what it looks like when you flip the camera up. And this is back. I had to cut my nails because in pottery class, it was too long and I can't get them done because they get caught on. What is that on my nail? Something in my nail. But in pottery class, they're too long and I had to clip them. So I have podcast mics, so I may be able to find the cord. Remember I showed y'all my podcast mic, and it only came with just the mic. It wasn't hook, hooked up to anything, so maybe I'll be able to find the attachments for that. I don't need no book. And I got this. That's like an old school camera for two thirty. They have this Sony Vogue cord. What is this? I know this camera don't come with it. Oh, so it's the little tripod thing and a SIM card. Which I'm, I don't need that. Let me touch. More cameras down there. They got a, oh, that's neat. Oh, I might need, I probably should get a, a mic for like myself, you know, what I'm doing my videos because the mics do be sounding better. Oh, and this is the Creative Kit. It has a little microphone that you can hook up. Cause they say a microphone makes a big difference. Now I don't know. I don't need no ring light. And then they have drones. Come on now, we, <laughs> we ain't doing that much. We is not doing that much. Let's check out the other album. Okay, this is just headphones and I don't 
need no headphones. Y'all want to see out of space? Y'all want me to get this so we can look out of space? They got solely clipped glasses. Child, some of this technology, they could have just stopped raising it. I don't need no headphones. All right, so let's go back and look at the other stuff. let's just say um best buy customer service 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 recommend so i went in there i'm like looking at the cameras and normally i don't like to ask people for help because in this day and age when you're asking somebody that work in a store to like help like hey can you help me find this or do you know a lot of information about this they be asking like you asking them for a dollar like Yo, shirt got the logo that's on outside of this building. So, of course, I'm going to ask you for help. But I don't really like asking people because they be really acting like you panhandling, shaking a cup. But, you know, I really wanted to get it right this time. So, I asked this guy and his name was Derek. He's like, hey. Um, I was like, do you know a lot about cameras? And he was like, yeah. He was like, I really do. I was like, can you please help me? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, I... I was like, I'm going to warn you. I'm, I'm going to have a lot of questions. And he was like, no, that's fine. First, I was looking at the Rebel T7. Now, mind you, I already have the T5 that they literally just tried to give me $60 for. So he was showing me that camera and just that and third, he was explaining it to me. So then I was asking him, I was like, well, I have the five. So I was like, is there that much of a difference? Because they had this, um, they had the T7 and they had two different lenses and the, the case that it goes in for $5.99. So I was low key about to buy that and I'm like, I can just either sell my cameras or just give them away. Like, you know, it is what it is. So I was about to get that. But then I was like, I asked him, I was like, is there really a big difference between the five and the seven? So he looked it up. When I tell you, like, he went above and beyond. You know, they got like iPads and laptops and everywhere and stuff everywhere. So he, we went over to one of the iPads and he was like literally searching the um, comparison of a T5 to a T7. Like, and I'm talking about, we looked at like three different websites and he was like, no, th that those aren't good. And he was like, we'll just try to find one more. And he found one and it broke down like all the comparisons and stuff and he was basically telling me like the sensor is better on the t7 which you know this stuff don't really mean nothing to me but he was like the sensor is better and something else he said is better but he was like honestly if you already have this camera and you haven't really been using it and you don't really know you know about this camera he was like it really doesn't do you much good to buy this one he was like um a big part of the camera is the lens so he was asking me like you know what lens do you have and of course i do not know so i was like i have it in the car so he was like okay i was like can i go get it he was like yeah go get it bring it to me so i took my camera in there and let him see it and it had my lens on it or whatever which is where's my lens so this is the lens that was on my camera let me lock up my car and i thought because it was big you know this was a good lens and he didn't say it was a bad lens but he was like you know i just recommend dang cobwebs so he was like i just recommend you getting you know a lens to start off with so i was like okay cool so he showed me what the lens was so i ended up getting this canon uh 55 millimeter i guess child i don't know i got this lens and he was so nice like he even um put the lens on after he wrote me up he put the lens on and was like showing me like how to record with it how to take pictures so this is the new lens that I bought. It's so pretty. And like he was taking pictures and y'all like it was like a whole nother camera. And I was like, dang. So all I really needed was a lens. So you know what? I appreciate the pawn shop not giving me what this camera was for. Cause I literally would have just paid $600 for a new camera thinking I need a new camera when all it was, was a lens. And this lens was 125. Yeah. This lens was 125. What else did I get? And then I got, this is all smashed up, but I got this for my MacBook. It's a thing where I can put my USD right here and I can take my footage off of my card for the camera and just upload it onto my computer because I, I knew I needed one of these regardless. So I was going to get one no matter what. So I got this and then I got this new lens that I am so excited about. And he was showing me how to use it. And he was like taking a picture of the box and stuff and showing me how it like blurs the background and all of that and blah, blah. And then I also got me another SIM card, which I could have ordered this off Amazon for cheaper, but 
I mean, I'm already here, so why not get the SIM card too? So I got me a 128 gigabyte SIM card. He said this is a very good um, kind for our videos and it's the SanDisk Extreme Plus. So I also got a new SIM card. And then to top it off, y'all, like I, I really feel like girl math kicked in because I saved money because I was about to spend $600 on the camera. And I did, and I spent $125 on that. I think this was like $25. And then I got me a microphone. I got me a microphone. And like, it's kind of small, but I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we're we, we gonna start out small. This was $30. I probably could've got it cheaper on Amazon, but this is in my hand right now. I would've had to wait on Amazon to send me that, right? And it has this little, plug right here that goes into my cameras y'all see that right there right how it says little microphone right there mm -hmm. and then this part can go into my phone yeah yes i literally feel like i should go on a shopping spree because girl maps tells me that i got money to spend because i didn't spend six hundred dollars on that camera like i could literally go buy anything and not feel guilty about it because i just saved money like Shout out to him because his customer service was amazing. Like, that man helped me. I was in Best Buy probably, like, at least an hour and a half. And that man, was the whole time I was in there, he was explaining everything to me. He was walking me around, showing me different things. I was asking him about microphones. I was asking him about SIM cards. I was asking him a thousand questions about a camera, the lens, the difference. Like, that man, customer service was A1, and I appreciated him so much. Like, he the best to ever do it. Cause yeah, I don't even know how to work the thing. Like, fire, like I need to let y'all see. Hold on, it, it won't let me focus. But y'all see that camera quality? Like, it was not looking like that before. It was looking like I was trying to shoot a Western movie from back in the day. And my car is tinted. Nobody, nobody told you to cut off. I'm so happy, I am. And I already got a tripod or whatever but now i have to get a mount that i can record so a big part of me wanting to get a camera because of course i can shoot all my content on my phone like that's literally what i've been shooting it on the longest for the longest but when it comes to recording content in order for me to the, put it on more than one platform i have to shoot it more than once because with youtube you have to turn your phone this way right what is this landscape I guess you have to turn your phone landscape for YouTube, but for literally every other platform, it's portrait way. So I can't really crop my videos and turn them into, you know, content for the other platforms because it just looks weird because it has to be up and down. So now I can have this bad boy propped up for YouTube because period. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. And I can have that propped up in the corner and then I can have my phone long ways right here and I can be shooting my TikTok content or my Facebook content or my Instagram content on the phone. And then that went over there and I don't have to film the content twice. Like I can shoot it all at one time and record on both devices. Like that's a game changer for me. Big purr. I already got a tripod for her. Like, look at her. Yeah, she look dusty because I literally have not dusted her off. But she look like a whole new camera. And then this piece right here come up. I don't know if I can lift it for y'all. No, I don't want to lift. But like the light come up right there. Don't play with it. Don't. I'm so happy. I think I'm going to do a giveaway for this camera and give it to one of um, one of my supporters because I ain't gave y'all nothing yet. That's because I ain't rich. If I was rich, I would literally do giveaways and stuff and give y'all money like Mr. Beast do all the time, but I'm not rich. So, but I could probably get this away. So I could probably do a giveaway with this. Let's see, I don't have no SIM card in it right now. So, but everything works, it's on right now. You see it says no memory card found. Um, got a little light that comes up this is the back and what everything looks like the functions y'all see me and then it got the on off this is the zoom this is the little piece where you can hook it up to the tripod and sit it there this is where the battery and the sim card goes you can put um this little thing over here or you can get one of those hand one of these so that you can like put it around your wrist so you ain't got to worry about it falling 
and that's about it and this is where you know you can hook it up to whatever you need to hook it up to and it also has this and you literally plug this into a wall so you don't even need no cords to charge you just put the battery right there and plug this into the wall i was going to sell this to them with one battery because i could have sworn this come with two no i'm i'm tripping this one only come with one this camera comes with two batteries this one comes with one but i think i'm gonna get this away so what y'all think y'all want a camera but that is all uh i will talk to you amazing one for people later and like we about to be shooting this 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 content on this camera like big per i'll let y'all know which video i shoot it with and then maybe we can do the phone and the camera side by side so we can see if it really makes a difference because i ain't gonna lie the camera on this iphone 14 pro max it eats and like literally right now i have a screen protector on my screen so this is not even my raw camera footage because there's a protector over my camera but it eats i can't even cap it eats it shows all my imperfections in my face but i mean that's what it's supposed to do you can filter it edit it do whatever you need to do. i'm really happy y'all but i'm gonna go home i'm in what river city which is way up north so i need to go back down to go home but i love y'all thank y'all for tuning in and even though the pawn shop tried to play with me i ain't need y'all so thank you for trying to play with me because one of my followers sorry one of my subscribers my supporters is going to get a camera for the free because y'all was tripping and i saved 600 dollars because well really i saved like 400 because i did pay the 125 for the lens but i saved like 400 dollars because y'all wanted to play so appreciate you talk to y'all wonderful people later